Hello everyone and welcome to our 2024 fasting and praying devotional videos. I'm excited for 2024 and what God is going to do. Each year we start off the year with a fast and prayer and believing that through this fast and prayer that we're gonna get closer to God, but we're also taking an opportunity to receive what He has for us. And so as we go through these videos and we have some studies, I just wanna share a story with you of when I was fasting, praying, and believing for God to do something great in my life. Um, we started off a fast just like we're starting it off now. And Pastor Marco came up and he said, you know what, write down 10 names of people that you're believing to be saved and come to the house of God. And you know, each year I took that opportunity and I love that opportunity because I'd start putting all my family members' names down. I have so many family members and I wanted to see them all get saved. And each year I'd write down their name and each year we had an opportunity to text them, to send them an invite and I would do that. Sure enough, here comes one of my cousins with her daughter and her son and they begin to start coming to church and getting involved and being a part of what God is doing here at The Way. Then before you know it, I continue to press in and write down more names. And um, just this year, past year that passed, I saw my Uncle Mario in the parking lot and I really didn't recognize him. And I told one of the guys that were with me, I said, that looks like my uncle. And I wasn't sure if that was him. So we kept working. We went back inside to check on a couple things in the church. And lo and behold, it was my Uncle Mario walking in. And I said, hey, what are you doing here? He says, all these years you've been inviting me, sending me texts, inviting me to come, and I've decided to come. Not only did he decide to come, but he went up to the altar that day and gave his life to Jesus. What an opportunity for him to come just by following, by praying and believing and following the steps that were given. Have faith, fast and pray and believe, write down their names, and guess what? He showed up. And so as today, as we get into this study, we're gonna be going over Matthew chapter one, verse 18 through 25. So let's read that. It says, this is how Jesus the Messiah was born. His mother, Mary, was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, whom she was engaged was was a righteous man and didn't want to disgrace her publicly. So he decided to break off the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, do not be afraid to take Mary for your wife. For a child, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit and she will have a son and you are to name him Jesus for he will save his people from their sins. All of this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message to the prophet. Look, the virgin will conceive a child and she will give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Joseph woke up and he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took Mary as his wife but he did not have sexual relationship with her until the son was born and Joseph named him Jesus. Now let's take a look at this really quick. What, humanly thinking, oh Lord, how did this happen? What did I get myself into? Am I making wrong decisions? But when we start to make decisions, we gotta go back to God and ask him, Lord, what do I do? The Bible says that God came and talked to him, that he sent an angel of the Lord to speak to him. Now that's something we have to understand that when God is speaking to us, we have to make sure that we're listening. The Bible says that we're not just supposed to be hearers of the word, but we're also supposed to be doers of the word. So it goes on to say that he did exactly what the Lord commanded him to do. He said, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look at what it looks like here, but I know God is doing something great. I had a word from God. I'm gonna listen to the word of God and I'm gonna follow God's word. And as we follow God's word, we know that God's word works and it produces in our lives. Not only was the word producing in his life, but it was also producing in Mary's life. We know that Mary was willing to obey, was willing to submit just like Joseph was willing to obey. Mary now gets, gets a vision or, or uh, a visit from an angel as well, saying, guess what, you're gonna have a son. And what does Mary say? Let it be to your servant for what you said. She was willing to submit to the process. She says, you know what? I know God, you have a plan and a purpose and I'm willing to do it. What is God telling you to do? 
What is God asking you to obey and, sum, and to submit to? Joseph and Mary were willing to submit and obey to what God had for their lives that would change the world for eternity. They would be bringing in the Savior of the world. Joseph had an opportunity to raise Jesus to instruct him, to guide him, to direct him. Mary had an opportunity to birth Jesus into this world as a virgin. It's amazing what God will do with anybody who's willing to listen, who's willing to follow and do exactly what he tells us to do. And so as Mary submitted, we see this in Luke chapter one, verse 28, all the way to 38. Not only did she listen, but she followed and they were able to do what God had called them to do. How will God use you? How will God give you direction in this season? And will you listen to that? Enjoy the rest of your week, and I look forward to seeing what God is doing in your life through prayer and fasting.